Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you all about the 2018 Aerolite 284BHSL. This is one of the Aerolite luxury class models. It's in the Cool Springs interior and it has a ton of great features in this floor plan. Let's so come on back. I want to start right here at the entryway. You'll see it's a nice big wide entry door here. And as soon as you come in, take a look at this. You have a beautiful large closet, a spot to hang up all your jackets, sweatshirts. You can put all your shoes on the floor. You have the shelf up top and there's an LED light in there with a light switch. I love this idea. You know, far too often you come in, your shoes are cluttering up your entryway. You don't have a spot for your jackets. So I really do like they put that in there. The other cool thing right across the way here, this is what they call the in-command system. Everything is right here in this little tablet. This lets you do a ton. You can take a look at your tank levels on here. You can control your water pump, your heater. You can turn your lights off, you know, do that individually. Your awning, look at this, your jacks. This lets you do almost everything right from this control. It's really easy to operate. Uh, I do like the fact that, again, you don't have this big, huge panel here. And if the kids don't know the passcode, they can't start messing with stuff. So that is definitely a cool system. Right over here is your power bed control. Uh, all or Both the bunks here are on a power lift system, a happy jack system. So, you know, when you're traveling, you want that in the up position. Not only does that uh, make it so things aren't bouncing all over, but it kind of locks it in place and it gives you a ton of storage underneath, uh, which has easy access to the outside. I'll show you a little bit later. But when you get to your destination, you can lower those bunks down. They give you three bunks here. So you have the top, the middle, and you can put one on the floor here in the bottom. We'll check that out a little bit more in just a bit though. First, I wanna head in here into the bathroom. You can take a look, you'll see the foot flush lever toilet, plenty of room all the way around that. Right next to that is your tub shower. You have kids, you plan on giving them a bath. If they're small, you're able to do that still while you camp. You see you have a shelf there, a hand wand, and a big skylight up top. Really allows a lot of light in, gives you more headroom. Also, you see right here, you have a vent fan to quickly help moisture escape. Over to the side are a couple of robe hooks. That way you have a place to put your towel as well. Directly across the way, here's your mirrored medicine cabinet. You do have storage behind that. And then right down below, you have your sink top there and some storage underneath that too. Uh, thermostats right, out, right outside here. This controls both your AC as well as your furnace. Uh, but back to the bunks here. This does have a ladder to climb up onto the top bunk. You know, oftentimes it's really tough to be able to get up there. Uh, you can put some more space here. You don't have to bring this down quite as low if you don't want to. You know, if this is uh, a little too close here, you can leave this one a little bit higher. You will notice there's windows on both the top and bottom there as well to allow for uh, some natural light as well as some ventilation. LED lights on the top and bottom too. Like I said, on the very bottom here, you know, if you don't utilize this bunk, great. You know, you can leave this mattress out and you can still store a bunch of stuff down here. But if you have a third person who wants to sleep down here, maybe you know you go camping with your dog a lot and you love your dog and you want them to have a nice pad, you can have them sleep down here as well. Right over to the side, open this up for you. Take a look at that. Great extra storage, perfect for the, uh, some of the folded kids clothes. Or if you wanna use this as a linen closet, put your towels in there, you can do that too. Then right across the way here is the super slide. You will see that you have the, uh, the nice large sofa here, extremely comfortable. This is a tri-fold sofa. Uh, if you're not familiar with the tri-fold, it's the preferable type of sleeper sofa in an RV. And you can see why. Come on over here, you can see how nice and thick this is. This is what your guests will actually get to sleep on. Uh, this folds down, the rest of the couch comes out, and it's a nice big bed that two adults can sleep on. It's not gonna have an air mattress that deflates on them. It's not gonna be a skinny little mattress you know, with a bar in it that hurts their back either. So uh, wonderful trifold right there. Windows all the way around too to let in a lot of natural light. Light color pattern in here too. I like what they've done. They have dark woods, but the Cool Springs interior is nice and light. Uh, you know, they really do work very well with each other. Also, there's an electrical outlet right down on the floor here. So if you're sitting on the couch, you need to plug in, you know, laptop, tablet, something like that, you have the ability to do so. Along the top of the slide here, you'll see some uh, additional storage with the frosted glass on there, nice brushed nickel poles. 
Let's take a quick look at the ceiling. There are some really cool features up here. One is the ducted AC I had mentioned is right there. Another thing I like is instead of having just your standard tape strips going across, they have these nice pieces of wood. It really gives it uh, you know, a nice aesthetic in here. Also, you can see those pieces of wood are curved because this is a cathedral style ceiling. It's nice and open. You don't feel, again, you don't feel closed in and claustrophobic in here. You lost notice you have some backlighting up above the entertainment center, which is kind of cool. And right over here, you have this big uh, skylight, which lets a lot of natural light down into the kitchen. Back to our super slide, though. Right over here is the dinette. Uh, plenty of seating here for four people. I also like that there's a decent amount of space between the seat, uh, the, the seat here and the table. A lot of times in the dinettes, you know, they try to squeeze these in. And if you're a bigger person, it's really hard to, uh, you know, be able to slide in there. Not the case at all here. I mean, I slide in here. You see I have a lot of room. You know, if I need to slide up, I can do that too. Uh, but I just like that it, it gives you that ability. Also, this does drop down into an additional sleeping space. If you need to, you can remove these legs right here from both the flanges in the floor and then the flanges right here beneath the table. They just pull right out. The table will then sit along the rails. You can take these back cushions, put them on top of the table here, and then that will create your sleeping space. Uh, if we take a look across the way, you get into the kitchen. Beautiful solid surface countertops. Again, this is luxury class. You know, they're uh, kind of stepping things up a level here, giving it a really nice look. One of the things you will notice, take a look at that. You have some under lighting there. Uh, you can see that it's lit up. It's kind of tough to see in the light, but you can see it's actually lit behind here. Gives it a really cool look all the way through. Uh, so I do like that again, you know, that little bit of luxury there. Right down here, you'll see you have some additional storage. All right, couple nice pull-out drawers. Good place to put your silverware there for your uh, bigger utensils. You know, you probably just turn them sideways. You have plenty of room to fit a spatula in there as well. Right up top is the sink. You will see that they give you a nice flush mounted sink top cover. This is cutting board quality. Uh, you know, I've had some people that ask me, well, you know, why don't they give me matching solid surface sink top covers? Well, yeah, they look great. And you know, you may, you'll probably use them once in a while for prep. But as far as functionality, this is more functional. It still allows you to use it as prep space and you can flip it over and use the bottom as a cutting board. Right here, you have the uh, double bowl undermount stainless steel sink. It's a double equal bowl there. High rise pull out faucet here makes washing and rinsing dishes nice and easy. Over to the side, you'll see you have a dual USB port as well as an electrical outlet there. Uh, so if you need to plug stuff in, you can either put it here in the corner or there's also another electrical outlet tucked away right underneath here. So you do have a couple different places in which you can plug in coffee makers, blenders, things like that. Window here to let in that natural light during the day, LED lights throughout the kitchen for nighttime. Across the top, you have some good storage right up here above the sink. And then over to the side, more storage there. So places for, you know, cups, maybe some extra pantry storage, whatever you want to use it for there. Um, you have your stainless steel microwave here. Right underneath that, your hood with the light and fan. You can see the light up backsplash. This is really cool. That's what one of these two switches here, uh, this guy there, that's what that's controlled by. Same thing with the, the lighting in the countertop here. If you don't want this stuff, you don't have to turn it on. But again, I think it just gives it that nice classy look. Right here in front of that is your three burner Atwood cooktop. The front one is high output, stainless steel front on it. So if you like to do some baking while camping, you're in luck. You will be all set in here. Uh, another cutout right there. This, is, this does give you enough room for a small trash can. So I do like that they were able to go ahead and fit that in. And then underneath the oven, you have a little larger drawer. Uh, this is perfect for your uh, camp size pots and pans. Rounding out the kitchen area is your Norcold fridge freezer combo. Nice and big here. You'll see you have a cutout for some of your taller items. This unit does run off both propane and electric and has automatic switch over. You'll also see the thermostat is right here on the outside. So it's very easy to adjust. Uh, TV right there in the center. Uh, you notice it has a great viewing angle right to the TV just like you would want. Multimedia center right here down below. This multimedia center is a radio CD and DVD player. It is already pre-wired to the TV. So pop a movie in there and you're all set. Good storage there underneath. 
and then you have additional storage right here up top. Here in the bedroom, Aerolite uses what they call a king size bed. In reality, it's a little bit shorter. It's 70 inches wide by 74 inches long, but it's still a very big bed. That way you're not elbowing each other. You have plenty of room to move around in the middle of the night. A couple different storage uh, situations on either side. The one side here you can see you have a nice wardrobe hanging space. Uh, both the sides have a mirror on the door. This side, however, has a shelf, a little bit different. You know, that way you can put some folded clothes in there. So instead of having the wardrobe underneath, uh, you will see you have a nice nightstand there. You'll also notice you have dual USB port as well as an electrical outlet. So if you need to plug in cell phones or a CPAP machine, you have a space in which you can do it. Also, you have a nice little shelf right up there in the headboard. You see uh, dual LED lights right here underneath, nice reading lights, storage all the way across the top with the nice tinted glass on there. Underneath the bed, you have additional storage. You can see that, Never mind the giant TV box. Uh, but again, that is just uh, good extra storage and it's easy to get to. If you take a look at the ceiling real quick, a couple things on the ceiling, you'll see you have speakers, more LED lights, a vent here, so if you don't want to run the ducted AC, uh, you can open up the window, open the vent up, get that cross ventilation through here. You also see the WineGuard Razar upgraded TV antenna right there, so it's low profile, you don't have to raise it up and down, you just have to spin it to find the signal. TV hookups right here, as well as a mounting bracket that is located right there in the wall. Last thing I want to talk about, there is a secondary entrance here into the bedroom. That's really nice if you have additional guests. You have that nice trifold out there if guests want to sleep on it. Maybe you're an early riser and you want to you know, exit the coach before them. You don't want to wake them up or vice versa. Maybe someone's going to bed later than the other person. Having the second entrance right here in the bedroom is quite convenient. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at some of the amazing outside features on the Aerolite 284 BHSL. We'll start right up front here with the Lippert Power Tongue Jack. This makes it nice and easy to uh, raise and lower the tongue by simply flipping the switch here. You'll also notice right on front there is a light in case you are hooking up or disconnecting at night that will give you some added visibility. Right behind that are your two propane tanks. You see it does have a cover, it's very nice and easy to get down into those tanks. Just undo those thumb screws, lift up the hatch, and you can get right down in there. As you will notice, you have two 30 pound tanks in here instead of the standard 20 that most RVs come equipped with. Behind that, you see the rails for your battery. It is wide enough, you can easily fit two batteries on there. And right off to the side, you'll notice there's also a battery disconnect. That's generally the sign of a higher end RV. They don't put them on too many travel trailers, but that is super convenient. Rather than constantly having to get down there and disconnect your battery when you're done, you can just flip that battery, disconnect. That way there won't be that constant drain on the battery. The front end of the Aerolite has a beautiful front cap on here. It's luxury class and boy does it look like it. The front cap not only adds some insulation and beautiful aesthetics, but also because it wraps around helps, with, uh, helps prevent water penetration. Right up front here, rather than your standard diamond plating, they've put on this nice rock guard. Again, it blends in a lot better and it still really helps protect the front end from rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. You'll also see they have big V LED light strips in there, gives it a nice aggressive look at night. When you come around to the side, we'll take a look at the pass-through. You'll notice right here it does have a covered hinge, so you don't have to worry about a bunch of rust coming down your door. Magnetic as well, so you can just stick it up there and forget about it. Then if you take a look inside, you can see how nice and clean it is. Now this one does have a couple other things that uh, the non-luxury class won't have. When we get to the off-door side, we'll take a look at the auto level system, which is awesome. Also right here is part of your in-command system. This is where all your fuses and everything are for it in case you have to access it. Notice they did put a light directly above it. So that way, if you do have to get in there at night, you can see what you're doing. Now I mentioned the auto level. Take a look at this beauty. Uh, this is something that's come out, you know, basically this year. It's very recent. You've seen auto level on a lot of fifth wheels, but up until now, you haven't really seen it on travel trailers. And it is a true auto level system. You touch a button, the travel trailer will level itself out. This is a huge time savings. You know, if you're, the whole point of camping is getting out and starting to relax. Last thing in the world you want to do is have to rock it back and forth and play with leveling the whole time. If you're sick of it, you don't want to get down on your hands and knees, this is certainly the way to go. 
Moving back a little bit further here, uh, we'll talk about the entryways. You do have two entryways into this RV. This one is the one I showed you into the bedroom. Three aluminum steps here. Uh, aluminum steps are nice because they won't rust out on you. They also have the rubber grip strip so you won't slip and fall. And then your standard grab handle right here as well. The main entrance in the back also has your three aluminum steps, but a larger foldable easy grab handle. We can take a look at that when we make our way back there. Right up above both doors here, you will see you have a power awning. Uh, that does, again, cover both doors, which is great. So if it's raining, you know, you can enter and exit the coach without getting soaked. Also, you have an LED light strip that runs underneath, so you don't have to get up there and hang up your Christmas lights. You can just flip a switch to have light on your campsite. Take a quick look underneath. Uh, you will see right there, you have a propane quick connect. If you're one that likes to grill outside, that's awesome. Hook it up right there. That way your grill will feed off your two 30 pound bottles instead of having to buy the separate small green ones. If you also take a look underneath the awning right here in the center, you see two outside speakers. Now those are controlled by your multimedia center inside, however they are Bluetooth capable. So uh, if you wanna sit out here and control your music, you can use a smartphone or tablet and be able to do that rather than constantly have to go inside to mess with the multimedia center. If you like to watch TV outside, you'll be covered there as well. You see you have a cable outlet right here, and then directly underneath you have an electrical outlet. Now bear in mind, even if you don't want to watch TV, you can still use the electrical outlet for anything else that you want to plug in here. Take a quick look at the wheels. Aluminum alloy wheels on the AeroLite. Not only are those really sharp looking, but also they won't rust on you. They help prevent corrosion. And you have easy lube axles, which are easier on the maintenance side. The tires are also nitrogen filled, so that way they should hold that pressure for a longer period of time. Right here is the main entrance. Uh, as I said, the same three aluminum steps you saw in the front entrance, but you get the foldable easy grab handle here as you'll be using this one a lot more, and it does make it easier to enter or exit the RV. Right back here is your black tank flush. This is nice too. Instead of having to go inside and stick a hose down your black or you know, down your toilet to wash out your black tank, you can hook the hose right up here. That black tank has sprayers built in and it will wash it out for you. This AeroLite does have the all seasons package on here as well. So if you're camping in the colder seasons, you don't have to worry about anything freezing up on you. You can see the fully enclosed and heated underbelly right underneath there. So you come around to the back, couple great features back here. One is your spare tire. It has a cover on there. You know, I know it seems minor and hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, it's a great peace of mind knowing it's riding right back here for you. And because it has the cover on there, you know it should be in good usable condition as well. The other thing I love about this is the rear door. As we saw inside, those power bunks will lift up. That gives you excellent storage right in here. So <laughs> this is my son, Xander. Hi. <laughs> he uh, came to work with me today, hanging out in here. But uh, as I said, this you know, gives you a lot of great storage. You can stuff stuff in here like an 11 year old or if you wanna put bikes in there, whatever. This bunk right here will lift up and out of the way. So it does give you a lot of great storage. As you can see, my son certainly approves. Moving on a little bit further here, uh, come around to the off door side. Couple of quick things I do wanna show you here. One, your termination will be right down below. You can see right here is your gray tank valve. Right over next to that is the black. Remember, when emptying them out, you generally want to pull your black first and then the gray. Uh, you will also see, if you take a look all the way up front there, you do have a second termination on here. So just bear that in mind. If you're dumping uh, at a dump station, you'll want to dump the first one, move it forward, dump the second here. Or, you know, if you're at a, a full hookup where you have the dump right on site, I recommend just getting a Y, bring them together, Y them down and in. Uh, but we also want to talk about hookups right here. The rest of them, you see a light. So that way, if you're hooking up or disconnecting at night, you can see what you're doing here. Uh, you'll see your cable inlet. This is where your city water will go. Spray port, if you need some outside water access, it does come with a hose that attaches to that. Also, you have your 30 amp detachable power cord, which will go right in here. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 AeroLite 284BHSL. This one is the luxury class. If you're interested in this RV and you like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. 
Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom. Thank you.